In Ephesians 5, Paul likens marriage to the relationship between Christ and his church. And Paul calls this a mystery, but somehow through the marriage relationship, we witness firsthand a glimpse of the wonder of Christ's love for the church and the intimate relationship that is, exists between two people wholly committed to one another. It's a tremendous blessing, I think, for both families, as well as for your future life together, that you are both followers of Jesus. The best thing a person can do for a marriage is to follow Jesus together within that relationship. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head. Doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Sammy, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Saying with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Every day I swear I need you With each glance I love you more and more Our walls came crumbling down now hand in hand we so for a lifetime of our love you two hearts one beat you whisper to me be mine for a lifetime the little things that make our hearts meet. I covenant, I covenant, I covenant before God and these witnesses, before God, God and these, these witnesses, witnesses, to be yours alone, to be, be yours, yours alone, alone, from this day forward, from this, this day, day forward, forward, in sickness or in health, in sickness or in health, health, in poverty or in wealth, in poverty or in wealth, wealth to love and to cherish, to, to love and to cherish, cherish, so long as we both shall live, so, so long, long as we both, both shall live. live. By the authority of God and the laws of this state, I declare that Zane and Sammy are husband and wife. So Zane and Sammy, you're no longer two independent persons, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> I would have never dared stop my sister and meet her husband by chasing him down the hall at church. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure glad she did. Only God knows what the future holds, but I do know you two immensely, to each other. I know for the hills and the valleys that your love will be so always and forever. To Sammy and Saint. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Lord bless you and keep you. Lord make your face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord and turn his his face towards you and give you peace. God bless you guys. Like I can hardly breathe when you say my name. I know we've waited and we've prayed. Oh, darling, say my name. I know we've waited and we've prayed. And here we are. 